What I am just saying is you have got to go with the flow. I go with the flow like a twig on the shoulders of a mighty stream. Folks, thanks for checking out the show. This is Steeler Wade Show. My name is Jake Wade, and we are coming from Southwest Michigan. A rainy night in that lower little when we describe... Let's see, if you're looking at it this way, it'd be like that. We live right, cha. Notre Dame is right, cha. It's a rainy night, so I left the door open. Give a little background noise. Oh, man. Tell you what. What a great night. I figure maybe um, share a little something, something. Um, so, how you like me now? Very majestic, uh, very masculine. So, like, I went like this is my uh, company's new sh swag. Um, got my pink long sleeve. I went double pink with the T-shirt on top. So I got double pink, two in the pink. And uh, so, like, usually in the winter, I take my showers mostly in the morning. Summers in the afternoon. It's just whatever, you know. I drink a lot, so I don't shower as much as people say they do. But uh, you, I shower in the morning, in the wintertime. Shower this morning and left for work without putting on deodorant like I do so many times because I just do. And I usually keep it in the car, but I got it from my purse, my Steeler purse that has my backup. So uh ended up... Uh, Spending four dollars for a uh, really nice smelling stick of deodorant, Old Spice, at a gas station. So I went two in the pink, and I don't stink. So you know the Seahawks are coming up, and I'm a very content man right now. I've said in past podcast, and. Uh, I'm fine with where we are with the team right now. It was cool. I, I'm a fan of uh, Steelers Nation Australia with Mark. And he did this uh, late night deal. I, I didn't get to catch it live. I caught it this afternoon. I listened to part of it on lunch and then on the way to commute home. And uh, he like hijacked the internet at 11 o'clock our time. I thought that was pretty cool. Like he didn't really care. So check out his podcast. He's really cool. And one of the things that he said that I really liked was he's like, you know, whoever starts, starts. I'm cool. Mason or Kenny, you know. And really, I really agree with that, you know. Uh, at this point, I'm like, we're on the outside and we are doing our jobs and we are doing our careers. We're taking care of our brides. We're taking care of our kids. We're taking care of our obligations. We are <laughs> trying to escape sometimes. And uh, these are the men that see it all. You know what I mean? And they know what's going on. There's no conspiracy. There's no big what's going to be presented out to the media. You know, they're going to do what's right. If they don't, then they don't. So, uh, at, in the beginning, I was uh, more or less like, look, we got to start Kenny. I mean, he's Kenny. We got to start Kenny, you know, if he's ready to go. Uh, I don't care how it plays out. I went over and I'm like, hey, you know, I love the story with Mason. Sorry. You know. Um, but, uh, you know, it's. They know, and I'll be fine. I will accept the argument, you know. So, uh, there's been some nice stories about uh, Pat P, you know. Uh, I heard one from DK Sports and just different shit, you know, about how these men that Omar Khan has... has... Uh, um, that's English, uh, 
acquired for this team. You know, I remember seeing a comment one time about like, like the Steeler fans should feel bad about how they roasted him on the, say the first quarter of the season, right? You know, whatever, you know, I don't know the exact number of games. You know, how we all were just like, oh, him and Wallace are just suck dick, you know what I mean? And uh, we should feel bad about that. You know, it's like, this motherfucker, he knows. He's a professional. You know what I mean? I'm not yelling, Jamie. Jamie. Um, he is a professional. And uh, he already knows what he was putting out there did not look good. <laughs> I mean, he just did not. He knew. Omar Khan has us. I hope we don't lose Andy Wydell. Man, they're going to be calm. I don't <clears throat> just need to. Uh, I think some money needs to be pumped into these dealers. You know what I'm saying? Like big fat money. You know? The Roonies, cool. Do it. You know? But I would love to see just some more of these minority invest. You know? Wouldn't that be something? Uh, squeeze me. Baking powder. My eyeballs. When I was hearing these stories about Pat P, you know, because I'm kind of like an old head, you know, uh, used to, I always get, when I hear, Pat, when I say Pat P, I always think I'm saying something wrong, you know, and uh, like, to me, when I say Pat P, I always think like Project Pat, you know, and like 3-6, you know, and uh, I'll tell you a little story. I'm trying to keep these things under 30 minutes. Jeez, it's so hard when you're long-winded. Go, Steelers. Come on, now. Come on. Super macho. I was in state prison, and um, uh, one of the coolest men I had met in there happened to be a skinhead, and his name was Pat. He was from Sacramento. I am 100% against skins. Done a lot of time with them. Do not care for them. I don't care. I don't like them. Okay? Personal t things. This was an exceptional man to that rule. And he was the one that uh, gave me the CD and the CD player so I could take it back to my cell to listen to Project Pat, you know? So whenever, a lot of times when I, I say Pat P, I think like, chicken head, chicken head. Sorry, I don't know. But, uh, you know, uh, he was done wrong by his people. He basically, uh, I'll put it out there. There was this cat that ran shit uh, named Pac-Man and he was like, blood to somebody in up top and uh he said basically let's take the metal to the yard and they made another skinhead fucking him and a youngster from the ie fucking come in a cell you know what i mean it's crazy but hey on a lighter note Devin Bush is a juiced up for the game against the Steelers. Man. Think about all the emotions you've had with Devin Bush. All the lack of emotion through the years that you have had to deal with with Devin Bush. Wherever your fandom was. You know what I mean? I'll tell you where my fandom was. I was not nearly... I was always a Steeler fan, but I'm not in this... I wasn't... In, whack like I am now you know what I mean uh, but back then it was a big deal and I think I was maybe just shy or right around three years clean moved out to Michigan living in like a you know the lower part of a home you know in southwest Michigan 
And uh, my girl, uh, my bride, or not, she was, oh yeah, my bride, uh, watching the draft with me. And that year, they had some really cool caps. And I remember thinking, because I was an apprentice, first year apprentice, brand new place, you know. And we ended up getting Devin Bush. And I didn't know a lot about college, but I knew it was a big deal. And I thought maybe this is going to be some magic shit because we're moving out to Michigan. And I knew about the two Devons and my, my, my. And poop. Poop. You know, and I think about all those, the stories and the feelings that I have. Can you imagine Tomlin, a defensive-minded coach? Can you imagine, like, um, just the disappointment? You know, you long-haired motherfucker, you know? Damn, dude. Man, and I don't, what sucks is, is that I don't think he's good enough to be playing, like, a lot of snaps on a defense. But I'll tell you one thing, if they did put in, I don't care, Mason or Kenny. But they need to be in that guy's ear saying, look, Bush is out there. I know his tendencies and I know his weaknesses. Throw it at his left ankle. He'll never get there. <laughs> Burn him. Burn him. Burn Bush. Burning Bush. Burn that Bush. Folks, if you like what you hear, please press that like button. And if you want to be reminded that you followed this thing and you went up like that and you went, we know more. Oh, I love your comments, but doggone, didn't anybody notice in that other video? I have drip now. I have drip. This is a uh, little... Uh, for my bride this Christmas. Folks, I'm going to get back at you before 31st, but I know we're going to have a great new year as part of just... Being friends. Thanks for checking me out. I hope you have a great night. To no stink. One no stink.